In this episode of Barlow Barbecue, I'm going to show you how I grill some chuck eye steaks. Also known as the poor man's ribeye, chuck eye is a budget friendly, juicy, and really flavorful steak. Now it's cut from the rib that's close to where ribeyes are cut from. So chuck eyes have a lot of that ribeye goodness in them. So let me show you how they look, then we'll season them, and then get them on the grill. All right, so here are the chuck eye steaks. And as you can see, there's actually some decent marbling in these. And that's going to allow these to really stand up well to that high heat that we're going to be grilling them at on that gas grill. All right, so in order to prep this for the grill, I'm just going to season uh, both sides of these steaks really well with some Montreal steak seasoning. All right, y'all, we got a grill temp of 450 degrees, so it's time to get these chuck eyes on. All right, y'all, the plan is simple. I'm just gonna flip these every couple minutes until they hit the dunnest I'm looking for, which is medium rare to medium, probably around 140, 145 degrees. All right, so I'll see you in a couple minutes when it's time to flip. All right, it's been about four minutes, and let's check on these steaks. I think it's going to be time to flip them. All right, let's check the underside and see how this looks. Oh yeah, we're getting a nice sea under there, so I'm going to go ahead and flip. Look at that. That is beautiful, guys. All right. All right, so I'm going to give these another three to four minutes. At that time, we'll flip them and then take the temp and see how they're doing. All right, my timer for four minutes just went off. So these steaks have been grilling for a total of around eight minutes. I've got my handy dandy probe thermometer here. We're gonna check the temps on those steaks. I think they should be done. Let's check them out. Ooh, these steaks are looking gorgeous, y'all. Let's see what the temp is on these. All right, we're at 154, 156, just at medium. Yep, that one's done. 160. So yeah, these are ready to come off, y'all. All right, y'all, here we go. These steaks are looking real nice. I gotta admit, I probably did overshoot them a little bit with the temperature-wise. But that's all good. These are going to taste great no matter what. I had to change my shirt because I just got out of the pool and I'll tell you what, it was glorious. And it is so hot down here in Southwest Florida. I've got a nice piece right here. Let's give it a try. I'll tell you what, despite it being just a little bit overcooked, I'll be honest, I overcooked it a little bit, but despite that, the flavor is really good and it's still nice and juicy. Not dried out at all. And I think the, uh, the fat and that little ribeye goodness in these chuck eyes helps these steaks stand up to being a little bit overcooked. These are really good steaks. Even if you fudge them a little bit, they can handle it. Uh, no big deal at all. I'm really happy with the way these turned out. And I'll have a recipe for everything right down below in the description box if you'd like to try this out for yourself at home, which I recommend you do. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. I'm going to wrap this video up. I love you. And until next time, Smoke them if you got them. Bye-bye, y'all.